Did you know that nationally we're seeing a smaller volume of transactions than we saw during the great financial crisis? Well, that could all start to change with some new lower interest rates this week. Let's jump into the stats and see what's going on with Portland Metro Real Estate. Even though demand and volume are way down in the Portland Metro area, the average sale price is still holding on. Average sale price is down 1.7% versus last year at this time, but overall the average has been trending just a little bit higher this year over last year. That's the trend that we've been seeing over the past couple of months and it doesn't seem to be changing, at least not yet. Why are home values still holding on in the face of really low transaction volume and lower buyer demand? Well, it's because the inventory is low. It's lower than we typically see at this time of year. We are trending a little bit higher than last year at this time, about 9% higher, meaning that buyers have 9% more homes to choose from compared to last year. The year over year comparison is slowly increasing, but we haven't seen any resulting downward pressure on values, at least not yet. Buyer demand in Portland Metro is following suit with the national numbers we've been seeing. The number of new home purchase contracts signed this past week was up by 8% over the previous week, but still down 9% compared to last year at this time. Keep in mind that real estate is hyper-local and buyer activity in Beaverton will be different from buyer activity in Portland or Lake Oswego or Gresham. The number of days a home spends on the market before receiving an acceptable offer was down this last week, but the greater trend has been on the rise and that's pretty typical for this time of year. The number of bank owned properties on the market increased by three, bringing us to a total of 64 closed homes on the market. That's the biggest number we've seen all year. However, it's still a really small number compared to the almost 7,400 active and pending homes currently on the market in Portland Metro. Mortgage rates had been holding firm for about a week or so. I was seeing 6.5% for the 30 year fixed best case scenario. But with the Fed's announcement on this last Wednesday that they were pretty much done with raising rates, the stock market took off like a rocket, the yield on the 10-year treasury started to drop, and mortgage rates followed suit. This morning, December 14th, I saw the 30-year fixed mortgage advertised as low as 6.125%. You know what that means? Folks who purchased a home just six weeks ago with a mortgage rate of 7.75% or likely even higher, it may be time for those folks to refinance. Rates are like a point and a half lower than they were at the time that they purchased. It'd be something that I'd be thinking about. Well, that was a lot of excitement for one week, especially around mortgage rates. So I'm really curious to see if we see any difference as we head into Christmas and New Year's holidays, if that rate is going to change the buyer demand, the number of contracts that we see signed uh, going forward. I will definitely be here next week to let you know. If you found something of value in this video, please give it a like and follow this channel to keep up to speed on the very latest in Portland Metro real estate trends. Have a great weekend and I will see you right here next week.